Hey everybody, Amber Vittoria here, artist and illustrator. Thank you so much for joining me. I found a really incredible way to showcase my artwork using Editor X. It's an advanced platform for web design professionals, and it's awesome because the interface is intuitive, but the responsive capabilities are super rich, really allowing you to go wild when putting your work into a live web design. The page I'm gonna create today can act like a bio, which is perfect for artists. It allows you to take your work and your text and put them together in a really fluid way. Come take a look. Okay, let's get started. I'm selecting the page by clicking outside of the canvas and adding a custom color by entering its code. This saves it in my palette so I could always use it again, which is super helpful. Now I want the section to always fill the height of the viewport, so I'm setting its minimum height to 100 VH. I'm adding a text box from the add panel and pasting in something I wrote earlier. I'll change the font size. Okay, let's see what works best. Mm, okay, let's make it a little bigger. That looks good. Now let's center it. And I'll align the whole text box to the middle and center. Now let's drag in an arrow from the vector art collection and switch it to face the other way. This is because I'm going to add my art in the next steps and the arrow will show visitors which way to slide. Let's just change the color of the arrow and align it to center. Great, it's looking good. Now I'm going to stack these elements together. This places them inside their own flex container which creates a spatial relationship and prevents overlap. Now for the main display tool. For this, I can add a layouter from Quick Ads. These are also based in Flexbox tech, so they have their own built-in responsive behavior. I'm changing the color of this item within the layouter so that it matches the background, and I'll do the same for the rest. Nice. Let's stretch the layouter. And now it's covering the entire stack, so I'm headed over to the Layers panel to view the page hierarchy. Let's drag the stack so that it's above the layouter. If we do nothing here, the layouter automatically adjusts to changes in the viewport size. I want to override this and control the display on all devices. So I'm selecting the layouter and clicking Manage Layout. And now I'll set the display type to slider. By also clicking Equalize, I'm making sure that all the items are the same width. I don't want any margins, so here I'll set them to zero. And now we get to the part I love adding my art to the design. I'm using four images that I uploaded earlier and adding them one by one. Let's resize and position the first image and next we'll add the second. And the third. And finally, the fourth. Perfect. I can always change my mind and switch up the order of the items to control what the viewer sees first. And that's it. I'm ready to preview my page. As you can see, with the slider, you can neatly showcase any design or artwork in a really beautiful and inviting way. Be sure to check out my other videos on Editor X, and thank you so much for joining.